Hi folks, it's Chef Kevin. Tonight I'm making a puree, a special puree. I'm making a purple cauliflower puree. Now what is a puree? A puree is a liquefied form of a fruit or a vegetable and they're all basically cooked the same way. And they're used primarily as garnish. It's not a side dish, it's a garnish. A garnish is something that just makes food look good. Good looking food always tastes better. You always eat with your eyes first. This is a pretty simple recipe and you should try this. If you like to cook, especially for friends, you want to impress them, you make this puree, they're going to think you're a professional chef. Okay, there's not a lot of ingredients here. But let me show you what I have. Okay, the main player here, of course, is the purple cauliflower. We're all used to seeing the white cauliflower, but there's purple and there's orange as well. Most stores don't carry anything other than the white. Uh, first thing I do when I come home is I unwrap it. This way it has a chance to breathe. Take that cellophane off. And what you're looking for before you purchase is make sure it's nice and tight. There's no yellowing. Check out the bottom. Bottom shouldn't be brown. There's a touch of brown here, but that's okay. And the leaves are nice and tight and green. We have salt and pepper, of course. Two most common spices in the world. Milk. Butter. That's it. Let's get right into this. going to be using half of this head of cauliflower cutting out the stem portion this is not an exact cut because all this is going to get boiled, mashed, and strained. So there's no sense to get too finicky. Just want them to be on the small side like this. So I put some water in the bowl, just enough to cover the cauliflower, and I have some apple cider vinegar here. Just going to put in about a tablespoon or so. This is nature's cleaning agent. I'm going to let this soak for a few minutes, and then I'm going to rinse it under clear water. And then I'll start the cooking process. Okay, it's been soaking 10 minutes or so. I'm going to put it in a colander and run clear water over it. And you'll never know that there was vinegar in there. Okay, I have a four quart cast iron Dutch oven here. And it doesn't have to be a, a Dutch oven or cast iron but it should have a heavy bottom to retain the heat. Here is my cauliflower. I'm going to add enough milk. This is fat free milk but it doesn't really make a difference. The milk just keeps the cauliflower from turning color. So that was about three cups. What I'm going to do is 
just bring this up to a simmer and simmer it for about five six minutes until they're nice and tender and then we'll go to the next step okay actually this took me longer than I thought this has been about ten minutes and I'm going to take a small piece and just crush it between two spoons and that's when you know it's it's ready for the next step before I do that though I'm going to add some pepper Now this is white pepper, not the regular black pepper. Oof, not too much. And the only difference between the white and the black is the fact that one's white and one's black. Thank you. Some sea salt. A tablespoon full and going to be adding just a touch of fresh nutmeg. I think this will go really well. Not too much, that's powerful stuff. Okay, now for the actual pureeing. Okay, so before, before I actually puree it, I need to take the liquid out. So what I'm going to do is pass it through a colander and then catch the liquid in a bowl because I want to be able to use some of that liquid. That liquid has a lot of taste to it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, so I have my food processor here. Dump that all in there. This is my reserved milk from the boiling. I'm gonna add three ounces. I can add a little bit more down the road. I don't want to make this too liquidy. It all depends upon the water content of that particular head of cauliflower. I have two ounces of butter, cold butter, and you have to make sure that it's cold butter. This way it'll emulsify better. Okay, I'm going to put this on high for about three minutes. Okay, so that was about three minutes. And it has a nice consistency to it. I don't see any chunks. So I'm not going to bother passing this through an, uh, a sieve. This is nice. Nice consistency, nice color. And, oh, I can't believe it. I, I actually have uh, a world-class chef coming in soon to evaluate my puree. Um, we've been hanging out together. And, um, well, I don't want to tell you his name right now. I'm sorry I didn't mention it earlier. I don't want to tell you his name right now because this way you have to watch the end of the video, which is going to come soon at any rate. But, so, um, what I'm going to do now is set it up on a plate and serve it with something, something I have around here. Okay.
Okay, so let's dress this bad boy up. We'll call it a night here. Like cauliflower puree. It's very chefy. Broiled swordfish. Basatni rice. Gonna get a little decorative here. Oops. That wasn't me, that was the bottle. Get a little bit of lighting here. See what's going on. Gonna put a little piece of Cauliflower leaf. Gonna put a little anus leaves on that. A little drizzle of balsamic vinegar and a touch of cilantro. Okay. I'm gonna put a little lemon on that. I love lemon juice. Okay, so there it is. Now, let's bring my chef friend here and he'll taste it and critique it as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and taste this. I'm really hungry. And then my chef friend will, fresh, chef friend will taste it as well. Hmm, very good. And how do you how do you like my fish dish, Chef Ramsey? Tastes quite nice. Very um very delicate. I'm glad to hear that. Perhaps we can hang out later. Okay, this is Chef Kevin. I hope you enjoyed this video and please come back for more.